Hello, today I'm going to show you the proper steps needed to cancel your DocsPop account. Now if you originally registered for DocsPop and you set the account to not renew, you don't need to worry about this because at the end of your first subscription period, your account will just go inactive and you won't accrue any charges beyond that. But if you set your account to renew, these are the steps you can take to cancel your account. Once we're logged in, we're going to click the My DocsPop tab, which is found right here at the top left. And this will take you to your My Docs Pop account screen. In this blue box here, the My Search Plan box, you'll see this button here that says Change Renewal Plan. We're going to click this. If we scroll down a bit, you'll see this box is checked that says Renew Subscription. If you want to cancel the account, we're just going to deselect that box so there's no check mark. And then we'll hit the Done button. And this means at the end of your current billing period, your account will just go inactive. It will no longer renew. So we'll see right here, my current billing period ends on May the 12th of 2010. So on that date, my account will go inactive and I will not accrue any additional charges. Now let's say I've already canceled my account and I'm needing to reactivate. There's no need to create an additional account for this. Your, um, once your account goes inactive, your username and password information is still stored there. So you can always log in with that and reactivate the account as needed. I have another account set up just for this process here, which I'll show you. I'm going to log in with that information, and you'll see it'll take me to the reactivate screen. It'll say your account is currently inactive, but you may reactivate it quickly and automatically. So then we just select the plan we wish to reactivate at. We can select if we want to renew or not, hit next, enter your credit card information, or select to be invoiced, and then you should be activated once again. And that is how you cancel your account and also how you reactivate a canceled account.